log, aka clog. Um, as you can see, we're currently on a streak. I've solved the uh, Sunday and the Monday, and hopefully we can solve this Tuesday. Um, unlike the below average series, I'm not gonna try to solve this uh, super fast or anything. I'm just gonna try to take my time, uh, enjoy the puzzle, and you know, hopefully impart some knowledge along the way. Um, a swimmer's set might be a certain number of laps that you might do in the pool. Um, we can see if we can corroborate that with anything. Mm, Tropicana, that's like an orange juice. Uh, you'd think it'd be an orange uh, over the Tropicana logo, but moving on. Part of the drivetrain, um, that's something to do with cars, so this is probably Axel. Um, city with a famous tower, that must be Pisa, the Leaning Tower, of course. Uh, perfect as a romance. Um, it could also be perfect, not perfect. So I'm not sure exactly, but certainly a way out would be an exit. As well should be also. And I guess it's a leaf, like a, the orange leaf, maybe, <laughs> in the Tropicana logo. Um, Daredevil is, of course, would be fearless. Uh, and let's take a look at what this asterisk indicates over here. There's probably some sort of theme. Okay, uh, Taylor Blank, some of whose hit songs are featured in the answers to the star, um, to the starred clues. Uh, that must be Taylor Swift, obviously. Um, and let's see what else. So all of these are Taylor Swift songs, I guess. Um, Visibly Embarrassed, Red, uh, that's a Taylor Swift song. Void, I'll have to come back to that. Workplace for the Seven Dwarves. Um, Snow White, they worked at a mine, right? Like the hey-ho, hey-ho. Um, and mine seems like a potential uh, Taylor Swift song. So let's look for some more of these. Get over a minor injury, say. Something to do with healing, uh, could be relationship related as well. Um, start of a classic breakup letter. Mm, I think I'll need a few more letters here. Okay, perfect as a romance would be like a storybook romance. Desire, uh, yens, that's a classic crosswordies word. If you have a yen for something, you have a desire for it. Meadowland, another crossword ease word. I believe that's Lee spelled like this. It could be two E's, but I'm pretty sure it's with an A. Uh, reach for greedily could be grab at. Uh, understand. Hmm. Not sure. I'm also not as familiar with skincare brands as I should be, so this one's a little bit of a mystery to me. Uh, you would definitely say, I do at the altar, of course, referencing weddings. Um, Caramel-filled candy. I'm, I'm actually not much of a candy person. Um, <laughs> but I think this is a Rolo. If I can remember, you know, these were always left at the bottom of my uh, Halloween candy bag as a kid. So I actually saw more of them um, <laughs> than I did other candies that I preferred. Uh, one in a cast must be an actor, and still don't know the skincare thing. Second attempt. I've been seeing this a lot in crosswords recently. Redos. You know, often words that have you know a couple common vowels like e and o, as well as s and r, which are common consonants, are going to be uh, pretty uh, useful for a crossword constructor. So they end up showing up a lot. Um, same same reason that Lee shows up in uh, crosswords a lot. It's got some nice uh, uh, vowels. Okay, uh, if you sew something with, like spelled like this, then you've uh, planted it for future reaping. Yeah, hence uh, you reap what you sow, the common idiom. All right, much obliged. Um, I think I'll need more letters for that. Way out. That's cute. It, it lines up with this clue up here, way out. I kind of like when uh, there are repeat clues. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I still don't know what the answer is, so we'll have to just come back to that. 
Um, okay. Household gas that may require mitigation. Uh, radon gas? Is that household? That's <laughs> it's pretty dangerous if that's in households. Um, virtual greeting would be an evite, perhaps. A basis for a lawsuit, not sure. Um, formerly the largest country in Africa. I was thinking it could be Sudan. A uh, virtual greeting could be like an email or something. But in 2011, that's when South Sudan became a thing. So I'm wondering if um, that was just broken off from the larger Sudan. Uh, fender bender reminders. You would have a dent to remind you of that time you got in a fender bender. I'm actually accident free in my life. Um, never got in a car accident. Haven't driven much, which is probably why. <laughs> um, basis for a lawsuit. This could be like tort, maybe. Mm. Oh, love that. Um, yeah, something's looking a little funky here because I was thinking maybe a suit could be, oh no, that's already part of the clue. So suit can't be the answer because it's part of this. Um, things made by doctors and bartenders. That's an interesting one. Uh, doctors can make prescriptions uh, bartenders can make drinks. <laughs> drinks does fit, but I don't know why a doctor would make a drink. Um, so we're going to leave that for now. Okay. Let's get back. Let's look at more of these clues. Words with dressing or days. Um, word with dressing or days. Salad dressing, but salad days is not a thing. Um, mm, not sure. Mental picture could be like an image, but that's not great either. Head of state in Qatar. That could be Emir. If you watched the last um, Below Average episode, that did show up. Or maybe it was a couple episodes ago. Um, that's my cue. I'm on. I guess if we're thinking about numbers, because of course the codes have numbers in them, then nine is the only thing that fits here, I believe. Um, QED, um, I think that's a rot. Uh, I forget my Latin, uh, but I, th that just looks right to me. COVID-19 slangly, I guess Rona. Um, become one, merge, nuts and bolts, drawer, or drawer, because it's got a question mark, so that means it's a pun. Um, drawer? Magnet. A magnet can draw in nuts and bolts because they're metallic. That's kind of cute. I like that. Uh, a deep chasm could be an abyss. You gaze into the abyss. Um, little one in arms could be babe. Um, that seems like a possible Taylor Swift song, even if I haven't heard it myself. Uh, differ could be vary. Things differ between each other. They vary. Uh, display from a knight. Mm, a knight could display valor. V words aren't that common, which is why I was able to get that. Um, not too many V words to think through. Um, okay. Yeah, so what, what I was thinking about here is that a, a song title might end with me. Um, and then this could be email but then everything else looks pretty bad here. Um, and a virtual greeting, like an email isn't really a greeting on its own. Like it could be, but in most cases, emails are not greetings. Um, so southernmost part of Scandinavia must be Denmark. A word with dressing or days. I don't think salad days is a thing, <laughs> but this D does add some evidence towards that. Grow older would be age. Let's just put it in salad. Maybe salad days is a thing. Boys could be lads. Accumulate could be a mass. And mental picture, I guess, is image. Element of doubt. Um, 
weighted with freight, you could be laden. Um, element of doubt. Uh, I don't, I don't like these for beginner puzzles. Um, <laughs> but this is silent B, because uh, the B is silent in doubt. Uh, it's a little tricky for beginner solvers that aren't like used to seeing words split up like this in answers. Like <laughs> this doesn't look like anything if you don't think about it. Um, okay. Void. Uh, oh, a void could be a blank slate. Um, and that is, of course, a, a Taylor, Taylor Swift song. Divulge. That means to like tell someone about. So originally I was going to say learn, but that's kind of the opposite. It's more like teach. Um, Banff National Park is in Canada. I think it's spelled like that. And an elf could be mischievous. If this is learn, maybe I just don't know my vocabulary. No, it can't be learned. Okay. Uh, oh, let in or let on. You can let on about something maybe. And a door could be a way out. Um, much obliged. Mm. Not coming to me immediately. Um, get over a minor injury. You can shake it off. That one is definitely a Taylor Swift song. Understand. I can grasp that if I can understand it. And I guess Roche looks like a solid word and certainly per means a piece. Okay. All right, this is starting to look a lot better, although I have some very empty areas, but I also haven't looked at most of these clues. For example, Yuri uh, Gagaron is the first person in the space, however you'd pronounce that. Uh, we won't be serving alco alcohol, but um, that would be bring your own bottle, BYOB. Um, a renegade may break a rule or ignore a rule. Uh, look a little here, a little there. You can browse. Um, much obliged, I owe you. Um, Olaf is the pseudo man, of course. Smoken, spoken would be oral and then belt out would match up with sing loudly. That's great. All right, take stealthily informally. <laughs> I wonder if that's yoink. Um, I, I might be too deep in the meme culture, and um, but if it if the answer here is yoink, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased with that. Um, our song, a 2007 hit that begins with "I Was Riding Shotgun." This is all Taylor Swift themed. That's cute. Um, because our song is a is a Taylor Swift song. A unit in a birth announcement, uh, ounce, I guess. You know, you can say the baby is like 10 pounds, <laughs> hopefully not 10 pounds, you know. It, <laughs> however much a baby weighs, like six pounds is like a normal weight. Eight pounds would be like a big one, and then six ounces, something like that. Apologies to any expecting mothers um, out there. A uh, tiny bell sound uh, would be like a ding, maybe, instead of a ring. Encouraged, urged. Uh, if you lost control, you freaked, maybe. Ergo, hence. I've already said that word probably like seven times in this video. Uh, pile would be a heap. Things made by doctors and bartenders. A doc... Um, still not coming to me. Radon... <laughs> might be wrong, but all the other letters fit. Um, so start of a classic breakup letter. That could be Dear John. I think that's, um, I think that's a Taylor Swift song, but that might be very wrong. Well, corroborate, <laughs> sorry, corroborating evidence. Hornet's home would be a nest. Abominable snowman probably is a hope. You would hope. Send nude pics. Oh, that's very saucy for a, a Tuesday puzzle, but that would be sexed. Influence that's often unconscious. That could be bias. And 
I think a theater award is an OB, and that would fit with the orchestral instrument with a bell key. That would be oboe. Um, okay, something jobs, well orchestrated ruses. Ooh, not immediately coming to me. Um, I'm wondering if Sudan could be wrong, but it, it just fits really well. Okay, let's uh, let's clear out this section a little bit. So I think everything else I'm pretty completely confident on. Um, so virtual greeting, it's E something. Could be like E, <laughs> e type, E, e tap. Um, let me just make sure I've gotten all the, okay, I have gotten all of the theme answers already. I really like that it highlights all of the things for me so I don't have to like cross-reference with a bunch of numbers. Okay, scholars need a scholar. Scholary is a, um, I think it's like a pirate related thing. Um, so I was gonna say like tar or something, but that doesn't fit with the R, like RT is not really a thing. Um, a doctor might recommend something, a doctor might, um, hmm, okay, I mean, radon is definitely a gas, okay, um, well-orchestrated ruses could be, hmm, Not sure exactly. Um, Sudan, Sudan feels very right. Um, virtual greeting, E. Maybe it's not E something, maybe it's just, no, it's probably E something. Tort, let's try putting tort in there. <laughs> Let up job right on E tear E tarm Tort seem is very wrong, but I was just thinking of tort law. Um Basis of for a lawsuit. Yeah. E tarm Hmm. Let up. <laughs> Lutex. Okay, let's let's get rid of this T. I don't think that's helping. Hmm. Well orchestrated ruses. I'm thinking like bank heists or something. Um just this P is looking really unhelpful. Um heap could be wrong. but I don't think that helps a ton. Um, lost control could be something other than freaked. Um, could be, mm, freaked, freaked seems right. Um, Reno's, Rano's, virtual greeting. That's what I'm getting stuck on. It's like, like I'm just thinking of a word that's four letters, starts with a T, and could be something greeting related. Um, like e-talk. <laughs> I think that's just that's just definitely not a thing. Um. Blink. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. It's blank space, of course. Um, and then E <laughs> blank slate. Oh gosh. Um, sorry for anyone screaming at their screens for that. 
um, well orchestrated bruises, something, put up jobs. Oh, a doctor can make rounds and an or it is pirate related. And it could e card. Okay, I think that's it. All right, perfect. Um, let's go ahead and admire the puzzle. And yeah, I kind of like the slower approach. It's not as uh, stressful. <laughs> not that the um, below average runs are particularly stressful, but sort of nice to take your time and not have to think about the timer too much because I definitely did not beat my average here. Um, and it wasn't just uh, this corner's fault. Um, I've never really heard of a put up job, so that that one didn't feel super satisfying to get. But on the whole, like I, I really liked this. Um, I thought this was a cute puzzle, and I did say if this ends up being yoink, um, then I would be very happy, and it absolutely was. Um, this felt like a very fresh and you know modern friendly puzzle. You know, you had a lot of contemporary things in here. Of course, you know uh, the whole theme here, wherever it was. Uh, here. Um, that's quite a number of theme-related answers, especially when you include our song in here. Um, and I, I I respect that. I think Storybook is also cute and vaguely like theme adjacent. Um, it's sort of like on, on message for the theme. And there wasn't really anything um, too nasty in terms of fill anywhere. Um, you saw I got stuck here, but none of the words actually were, were that bad. I, the reason I got stuck was that I, I messed up the um, the answer here and I put in blank slate, which was totally my fault and not the constructor's fault. Um, IOU is is reasonable long fill. That's one thing that I always focus on a lot is, is just like, are the long words interesting? Because um, that's where you get to like put your mark as a constructor a lot of the times. Um, you, you get some like cool, like interesting words and that can really spice up the grid. Um, in this case, they weren't like outstanding, but nothing um, nothing too bad. And yeah, on, on the whole, like I, I quite liked the solving experience here. I, I would say this was significantly better than average. Um, I think I'd give it, you know, maybe like a, a soft eight out of 10, um, purely because it managed to incorporate a lot of modern um, and like fresh words around a pretty dense theme without sacrificing much in terms of fill. So I was pretty impressed overall with this. Uh, great job to the constructor. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.